to make oatmeal cookie balls and they are delicious. So let's start. We're using one and a half cups of everything dry and half a cup of everything wet. And the dry ingredients are oat flour, then almond flour, and chocolate chips are, and our little grateful chocolate chips are a dry ingredient, but technically, I don't think we're gonna use one and a half. I don't think we're gonna use one and a half cups of them. I think we're going to use more than that. Then we are using maple syrup as one of the wet ingredients and some peanut butter and here comes the best part the part that makes it so healthy coconut oil this stuff is good for about anything it's good for skin it's good for hair it's good for teeth it's just amazing so for the oat flour it's a little complicated um, you, if you're blending it, one and a half cups of oats, but if you're not blending it, like you're buying it from the store, then it's just one cup. Spill on my shirt, shut up, all day in the light. paper one this time. A smaller one? Yeah, probably. You're smaller than baby boy. Can we stop it? There's not enough. I just can't help it. It's so good. <laughs> I'm just gonna make another. That's what you get. I'm gonna make another batch. Trust me. Now go ahead. And now it is time to roll the cookie. <gasps> no more. No, it's the last one. I doubt it. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> these balls can be big, these balls can be small. I like the big ones. Obviously. <laughs> you can't lick them and then start rolling them again. I didn't lick them. You licked your fingers and then you touched the balls with no, them. No, I did this. I'm doing this. It's disgusting. I can lick my fingers without doing this. Voila! And you refrigerate them for... 
Yes, two hours. Two hours. What? You're